What was that? Who was that you just grabbed? Was that Stephanie Mills or that's your both feel? Or? Talk about the one I just did before this. It was like some female vocals on that motherfucker. That shit was hard. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to be calling me. Hey, man. Hey, hey, look. You're going to be like, hey, man, it was a, it was a couple, a man. She had on this dress, man. Um, you be like, what label was it on, Nate? You know, what what, what label? Oh, man, I can't uh, remember. I can't even know. I'm a, I'm it's a blue the label, man. I'm going to take the records out of the album, man, and stick them to the side, man. Just write that shit down. I'm telling you. Boy, that shit had you. Wow. Ain't nobody mess with two, man. Them loud. Raise up the Lost Ark beats you got up here, man. Make them thunderous beats. Hey, I don't have to talk about hey, man. Scared. I got a few of them that, that's, that's laid back. And let me see, I'm trying to find this one. Watch this, yeah. You talking about watch this? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Listen, I was thinking, let me see, watch this, watch this, let me see. <laughs> Yes, sir. It don't yeah. make no sense for any rapper or R&B artist to come out with a album with a bunch of whack beats. This man, don't make no yeah. sense, man. It don't Dude. make no sense. And that was your man was just saying, dog. It's so many that we can play in our playlist that nobody ain't gonna ever hear because you got some rappers who really don't know how to pick beats, or niggas be letting their A and R's pick the beats. That's not it, man. That ain't your job. Say it again. That's not your <laughs> fucking job. It's not an A and R job to pick beats. It's your job to make sure the album is thorough. And make sure he in the studio you know what I'm saying? And, and, like and I done said the studios with y'all, cat. We cool, but it's real shit, man. If y'all want to ever pull me outside of the room and say, man, say that shit you said on the internet. I say it, man. Like, really, dude. You shouldn't be here trying to pick beats. You should make sure the album right. You can say, all right, that could go with this album, but don't keep your artists from recording over some of these shits that I'm pointing to the computer saying, hey, man, this, that shit. Everybody, <laughs> everywhere I go, when I play this beat, niggas lose their mind. But you keep saying, yeah, it's just cool. I bet your artists will go in the booth and kill it while you hollering that it's cool. So what I'm saying is, yeah, I, man. I know what it is, because they got their mans in them beats they trying to put on their album. That's what it is. Yeah, I'm man. Yeah. I'm going to say what it is. Yeah. 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 Motherfucker who already <laughs> owe them about 10000 on some old other shit. I'm going to put you on this album. You know yeah, I'm going to get you on. Yeah, but see, let's see what it's going to do, man. You got producers, man. We know what this shit we we here from beginning to end. We making sure the vocals right. We in there telling niggas the hook ain't right or man, you trying to put too many words in on that part of your verse. You know, whoa, whoa, whoa. we we there from beginning to the end. Honestly, I even be there for the mastering if niggas let me hang out at the mastering lab. Shit, I play a part in that too. Cause I really be wanting to learn that mastering. Yeah, yeah I think because it's not enough mastering labs in the U.S. Man, I think if we had a mastering lab, if each city had a mastering lab, a real mastering lab, niggas would make a killer. Now, that's crazy that you got to send your shit to LA, New York, or Miami only. Like, just imagine niggas with the ears that we have. Sterling, we learn how to master. Sterling the sound makes a killing, boy, in New York City. Yeah. Sterling the sound makes a killing. But just imagine our ears in a mastering lab and what we would take it, learning the frequencies and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man, that shit scared the hell out of me, yeah, man. That's <laughs> the shit I'm trying to do for all. Tell you what's even worse. Well, I, I think it'd be some. Yeah. I think yeah. yeah, exactly. I think it'd be some of them. Um, I think it'd be some of them A and R's that be like 
like sneaking in their room and trying to be producers and shit. And they get mad when hip hop niggas fuck around and make something that can be on an R&B album and put us in like some eight hundred thousand dollar cribs. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, they be like, man, hold on, you a rap nigga? You ain't supposed to go in that world. Hell no, man. We, we sold, nigga. We sold. Sold. We know music, dog. Like how everybody trying to get this warm new '70s sound. Man, that's what we drop needles on, dog. We got this shit. So it's like, I be, I be thinking some niggas don't be wanting to see us get an R&B hit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it niggas be trying to elbow us out of that R&B game because they know we got that soul in it by looking for it. But, you know what it take, man. Same way with the rap shit. For us to get our beats off, really, is to uh, get your own, get an artist, and put that energy into them. So, just as well as I'm looking for rappers, I'm looking for a nice male or female that can sing their ass off at least um, no older than 25, no younger than 17. Yeah. Everybody can get about five albums out of you, you know what I mean? That's how I get into it. I'm right to talk y'all man. <laughs> I think it's another one where I chopped up some, some of my old, old samples and shit. Put some meat on the grill and that shit gonna sound dope when that, <laughs> that chord change. <laughs> Nigga be talking about anything. Like, like, that, I'll tell you, that raw shit, the way that, the, like, the beats that he done, that, that, that's the nigga know how to pick some beats. Mm hmm. I agree. I agree. <laughs>